Mother's Day. Woohoo! Taking you on this journey as I go from year to year. If only it were that easy. All right, I'm headed to Quesas. It's 4.52. The only reason I am usually up this early is when I'm staying up this late or when I'm going on an adventure. So it's adventure time. Woohoo! 5 a.m. crew. Woo, woo, woo. It was a three hour drive to the trailhead, so we got there around 8 a.m. There she is. Kesa, say hello. This is Kesa. She's like my little sister from high school. This is her mom, Shar, who is a badass lady who competes in Ironmans around the world. Everyone give me a whoop whoop! So I'm at Mount Rainier. We're about to hike Camp Mir. And it's going to be a long day of hiking. Whoop whoop! Kesa, give me a whoop whoop! <laughs> so Camp Mir is about 10,000 feet in elevation and is the highest point that you can hike to before actually summiting Mount Rainier. So this hike is 8 miles with like 4,500 feet of elevation gain. So that's like 1 to 1 mile per 1,000 feet. So it's pretty uphill. He's posing for us. What a sweet guy. We're about a mile in. Can I get a whoop whoop? whoop, whoop. <laughs> we are at 1.82 miles, almost 1,400 feet. Woo! Whoop 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 So the key to hiking is to focus on your breath. Like in yoga, in any sport, the breath helps give your body the oxygen to do the work. And you take a rest. Breathe through the nose. Hayes is a trained runner. She knows all about the breath. Mount Rainier has crevasses, which are deep cracks that form in glaciers that can be a few inches to over 40 feet deep. These are extremely dangerous, and people fall in them. Anything to say? We're almost there! <laughs> they're, they're crossing the river, and onward onto the snow. So there's not really a marked trail, but we're just gonna make one. So we're gonna put our crampons on, which will help us climb up the snow. Whoa! In my trusty bag. Got some corn nuts. We got a PB. And these are crampons. You go on your boots, and they help you walk in the snow. Wow! So this was definitely my first time using crampons. Um, so yeah, it took me like 10 minutes to figure this out. <laughs> I think that should hold. Hopefully that will hold. I strapped on my crampons and set out for the second half of our climb to Camp Mir. Whoa, I am slipping and sliding. <laughs> All right, we're two hours in, two miles in. We have two more miles to go. The rest is gonna be uphill in the snow. She's cruising, look at her. Look, that's the top of Mount Rainier. And that's called fashion. Look at these crampons, good job! Okay, this is hard. Thank God for these crampons. Thank God for these poles. One foot and the other. Two hours and 15 minutes in. 3.46 miles. About a mile to go, and I'm a beef stick. He started all the way over there. It's all smiles now because I didn't know what was coming for me after this payday.
Loki, I'm trying not to cry. We're making it one foot in front of the other. There they go. I'm back here so they can't hear me moan and complain. I feel like I have to take breaks every five steps. But this is where the self-talk comes in, friends. I can do it. Can I get a boop boop? We finally see where we're going. Right there. Okay. Time to do my final burn pump up speech. Caitlin, you got this. You are strong. You are powerful. You're climbing up a goddamn mountain. All right, AirPods going in. Jams, get me there. I finally made it to the top. And now I'm taking off these crampons so I can hike to the little house where everyone is waiting for me because I'm literally the last one. <laughs> I made it. There was a point when I questioned if I was going to make it. That was very mentally, physically, and emotionally challenging. <laughs> but we did it. Thank God. Alright, let's eat a fucking sandwich. This is where the climbers camp before they hike the two more miles with 4,000 feet of elevation gain to the tippy top of Mount Rainier, which usually takes about six hours. All right, now I'm descending the mountain. This hike has been a very humbling experience. You definitely need to do more cardio. Lesson learned. I would give this hike an eight out of 10 in terms of the difficulty. I mean, the views are spectacular. Like as I'm walking down and I finally am seeing this view, I'm like, wow, it is just like rolling mountains. We are tiny specks, truly tiny little specks. We're making the most of this beautiful little existence. Wow, she's cool. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Alrighty. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Coming down hot. Also, don't forget, we give thanks for our bodies. <laughs>